Hmm. Uh, pretty sure it's the 29th of April 2014. Um, yeah, it's good. Oh, and the car is nice and warm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Really cruddy day. Mm, phone rings at 9:20. Uh, she's hoping to get a loan. We can do it without a loan, but it makes it a lot more comfortable with one. Mm. And I got scammed too many times, I and mean, especially with her money, yeah, I lost a lot. Um, but we did make it here. That's a wonderful thing. Um, be nice if I hadn't fucked up on uh, so much of the money she spent so much time saving. But that is done, and we are here, and, and money just flies out the door if you let it. And don't come in very fast. Especially if you're a worker. don't know exactly what direction this uh, dialogue is going to go, but I will say before I just let it flow and find out, even though it's a fantasy and it's in jest, it's fun, it's fun to think about, you know. Um, I've only talked to Sandra on the phone twice. Um, very peaceful person. Mama Hen. Um, I've tried having other people live with me other than Diane, and Diane's only here because most of the time she's not obnoxious. Um, and together we do a lot more than we could do without each other. Um, so the concept of Mama Hen coming here is kind of like having Grandma move in, except Mama Hen probably doesn't have all the problems Grandma has. Um, and not saying that I wouldn't do everything I needed for her if I could, and she can come move in if it comes down to that, but she's living with Mom. Uh, it's not easy to do, but. Mm. And her her family's there. Everybody's in that general area except me. I'm far out. Um. Uh. You know. I imagine a lot of things. I really do. You're always looking for the best, and you don't always get it. Hmm. But you know. Uh, because, I, you know, I, she's the only one I know that does come to visit. That I know. I mean, i got a couple others, but I know she does. Um, for the sake of just thinking about it. Um, five minutes away there's a motel. Um, six minutes there's another one. And so on. Um, we're really close to the city without being in it. It's it's really pretty nice. <clears throat> I don't like the traffic right behind me, but you know, this is where we're at, and it's the best we've ever had. <coughs> um, she did say she never had a garden. You can. Um, I appreciate the help, Diane. It was warm. The bugs are out. It was cold. It's cold. She's a homebody. Um, but, you know, we do like to see things grow. She just doesn't hang out with as much as I do, for real. 
Um, the basement is exactly the same size as the upstairs. It's just got more stuff in it that doesn't... Well, you do need the heater, you do need the oil tank. Um, that's pretty much the only two things that kind of stay. Um, I had planned on fixing it one of these days. Um, I was actually planning on doing the uh, garage first. And she can't go up and down stairs. So if something happened to the house, even if we, it, you know, we don't, even if we had home insurance and it actually paid to replace it, which they usually try to figure out how not to. <coughs> but nonetheless, on the ground floor where she can get to it, that would be the first thing I'd fix. But if Mom and Hen actually showed up come visit and we all got along really well and she wanted to um fixing up the basement would not be a problem as long as she can go up and you can get one of those things it takes you down if you got good good health insurance um and I do know somebody that does that stuff and a lot less than a contractor. I haven't had a test, t chance to test it yet, but he works barely one day a month. He's always got car problems as a driver. Um, he does. He does live with somebody or some family, so he don't have to pay the cost of living, he just has to <clears throat> be a good guest and um, be useful. Um, that has nothing to do with Mom Hen in, in the context of anything except that for like $20, $25 an hour plus a nice tip, he knows how to do a whole lot of stuff. As you know, I, 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 I cut out the back of the uh, garage. That wasn't that hard. Um, I knew there were no electrical wires there. That's the only thing that bothers me. If I'm going to cut a hole in the back of the house, I don't want to run into a wire. Um, plus, I, there's no way I could carry the... Uh, sliding this door by myself. <clears throat> I'm a big guy, but that ain't happening. But that's the first thing we want to test him on. But he said he remodeled the place where he's living at now, their basement. He's still living there, I guess he did. Why me living down there just for fun? Nah, they, the storyline that from others is he sleeps on the couch. <coughs> in the living room. Uh. I finished that statement. If I did, then I'll do it again. We got up at 9.20, answered the phone. They were like, did you know that blankety blank has a lien on your house for $10,000? No. Uh, has to be the credit cards. Um, I walked away from them a long time ago and didn't have the money to uh, do bankruptcy either. Actually paid them like two hundred dollars or one hundred fifty nine dollars or whatever to go through their process and still never got nowhere. I just didn't have the several thousand dollars to declare bankruptcy after I just ran out of money. 
baptized, let it ride. There used to be a statute of limitations on that kind of stuff. Seven years later, if you haven't gotten it, you ain't getting it. Hmm, it don't work that way no more. And they'll wait till you die, and then we'll get your stuff. So they put a $10,000 lien on the house, and she's trying to borrow 8000 and we'll see. I kind of think they won't do it because there's already a lien on your house. Who's to say we won't be a second? You know, they do have access. If we're going to the same bank we bank at, they do have access to her uh, her records. And uh, you know, if if I didn't know, if I wasn't on the lease or on the title. She'd call the cops and kick me out on occasion. That ain't happening. That's unacceptable. I would have never left my own house to come here, and she wouldn't have went by herself if I wasn't on the title just because. One's got to protect one's home. If I give mine up, I get yours. In terms of us living together, we did before, we still are, but I own the other one, I sort of. I couldn't find nobody to buy it for 20000 so they repossessed it, and they say it's worth 30 More power to you, at least it ain't my problem now. I was my home for 10 years, and I couldn't have done without it. Two hundred and eighty five dollars to live there versus a lot more to rent. Just don't leave anything out. They'll steal it or wreck it for you. Inner city. Uh, it's not always just because they ain't paid enough to have a chance. Some of them just playing that way. But uh still a truth they have destroyed the working class. They're working on the middle class. Evidently, that's not as easy. Parasites. The way things can be done if done wrong. Greed and corruption, which is driven by greed. And obviously, Mom Hen, you know. I'm not always this way. In there, I'm very similar, but I'm everybody has all their faces. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, questionable or not, we could all get along in all those phases. I would probably never even offer it to anybody else. It's just well, you never know that. Um, the kindness that I feel for Mama Hen is quite nice. Um, but just you never know, right? Hmm. She says she's a biologist. Mm, Jean Goodall was a biologist too. Mm. The rain is coming. Two to four inches tomorrow. Yeah.
Ten thousand doesn't even do that anymore. It did in nineteen. 